Hello everyone, welcome to Teachopedia. Today's video is about MQTT, which is a messaging protocol. MQTT stands for MQ Telemetry Transport. It's a messaging protocol which is simple and lightweight and typically used for devices communication. We use it when we are dealing with IoT devices. It has a publisher and subscriber architecture and there are three things to remember. One is publisher, one is subscriber, and the other is topic. We will cover an application to get to know about this protocol a little bit more. So as you can see, this is their standard website, mqtt.org. And this is a standard messaging protocol for IoT devices. There, there are some advantages written on their website. It has a lightweight and efficient protocol. It receives and as well as send data. It can scale up to millions of devices. It is a very reliable as well as secure messaging protocol. So in this example or application, we have multiple things like a temperature sensor, a mobile device and a system. A backend system. All these three things will work as a client or in our case MQTT client. Client has a publisher which listens incoming sensors data. Then that client will send data or publish data to a broker and broker will be listening to a specific topic. So client sent to that particular topic and then broker which has a subscriber will get its data on that topic by subscribing it. After getting data broker will send its data to Raspberry Pi or a server and then that server can save data or in a database or send data to cloud. So this was a bit architecture, client receives data from sensors, then client send data on a particular topic, then broker listening on that topic, receive a message and send that data to a server and then that server will send data to a cloud or database. So this was a bit architecture about or overview about MQTT and how we can use it. Thank you so much.